So in this first video here, we're going to take a look at some electric field examples for point charges. And this video is going to explain how they're made and talk about single point charges. So I wrote a program here that does the calculation and you can place any number of point charge, set their positions and the amount of charge, and set whether those charges are positive or negative. And then the program calculates the electric field at all points in this region, which is what we call a vector field, meaning we've calculated both how strong is the field and which direction the field points. So for our cases here, we're first going to look at just a single positive charge, something that's in a region all by itself where I place the positive charge in the center of the region. And then we're going to look at a single negative charge where the negative charge is set in the center. So the program then outputs a graphic here showing this electric field. Color is showing you how strong or weak the field is, where red is always going to be where the strongest electric field is, and purple is where you have the weakest field. And for this case of the positive charge, we see the strongest field is surrounding, immediately surrounding, that point charge. And the purple out at the edges is where the field is the weakest. Now direction is shown by the arrows. So for a single positive charge, it's a nice sort of uniform field. And it might be a little hard to see on the video depending on your screen size, but the arrows are all pointing away from that positive point charge. In comparison for a negative charge, we see that it's still the red strongest color right near the negative charge and the purple out further away where it's weaker. But now the direction arrows actually point in towards the negative point charge. And so wherever you have a negative charge, the arrows are going to point towards it versus when we had a positive, the charges pointed, the arrows pointed away from the charge. Now, these videos were created as part of our upper level ENM course for our physics majors. And we're going to be showing you not just single point charges in isolation, but combinations of point charges and how the electric field varies for each one of those cases.